Hey Flosstube. Hi Flosstube. Welcome to our channel about cross stitch. Uh, my name is Erin. I'm Amity. And this is our work in progress, our whip parade. It's our very first Flosstube <laughs> video. Um, so please uh, bear with us if there are any quick cuts. It's because it's also our first time editing a video. Mm -hmm. So um, we are going to do super short intros and then we're going to dive right in because between the two of us we have 53 whips that we're going to talk about. Yeah. Um, so first thing to know is that we are sisters. Mm -hmm. um, our mom taught us to cross stitch uh, when we were very young. She was she was super crafty. She loved, I think at some point in time, tried just about all the crafts. Probably. Was good at all of them. Mm -hmm. um, so Much I like think, you. Oh, and well, no, not me. <laughs> Much like you. Anyway, um, she taught us about, I think I was maybe seven. I was about seven. Yeah. Right. Um, uh, I did a project when I was seven. I did not do another one until I think at 25-ish. I made something for my mother-in-law, which she still has. Very cute little oh. ornament. Um, and then I took a break. I attempted to make Amity something, a secret surprise something when she was pregnant with uh, her daughter, my niece. Um, it's a dishonorable mention that we'll talk about later on in the whip parade. Worth the wait. <laughs> definitely, definitely worth the wait to see that. Uh, I didn't, well, anyway, we'll talk about that. Um, and yeah, and then, you know, I, I think end of August, early September, got a text from Amity like, hey, do you want to go to this store called Keepsakes with me? Uh, Keepsakes is our local needle workshop, our LNS. And I was like, sure. And bought a couple of things there, um, one of which I finished. Oh, yeah. So, uh, we should show that in our future uh, finish parade. Oh, there you go. Hype, mm -hmm. hype over here. Hype lady. Um, so, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, your journey was a little bit different, but a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I did about one project every four years there for, <laughs> for a little while, mm -hmm. and then really got back into it in like 2018 and started all the things, uh, some of which are still whips that are in this pile that you'll see <laughs> later on. Um, but pretty much have stitched like every day since 2018, so. Fun. Um, super fast stats. Um, uh, my pronouns are she, her. I'm 43. I live in Northern Kentucky, uh, with my wonderful husband and our adorable dog. Um, you? I, my pronouns are also she, her. I am 40. I also live in Northern Kentucky, actually right next door. Neighbors. Which is, uh, very fun and convenient. It's like living next to a craft store that's open 24 <laughs> seven. It has a babysitter. Yes, and, and a built in babysitter. Yeah. And it's really nice to just be able to text and be like, hey, do you have this thread? I don't have it. Yeah. And send my son over and 27 seconds later you have thread. So it's perfect. But um, I live with my husband who I have been with since middle school, middle school sweethearts, going on 28 years together. And we have two kids. I have a son who is eight and a daughter who is three. And they are amazing and absolutely crazy in the best way possible. Wildlings. Wild. wild. They're very wild. Um, but yeah, that's yeah. that's me in a nutshell. All right. We're going to jump in. Um, we're going to do newest to oldest. And there are some uh, things that we've started together, like started the same things. But uh, so we'll show those together. For the most part, our styles are pretty different. So mix it up a bit. Um, yeah, we'll dive in. You know one thing that we didn't say that we probably should? Okay. Our Instagram. Oh, that's smart. Yes. And our name of our channel. <laughs> oh, all those things are smart. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, our channel is called Hathaway Stitchers. Uh, we went back and forth about what to call it. We tried to mash up our Instagram names, but... Um, it, it just wasn't working. Yeah. Hathaway is the name of the street that we grew up on. Mm -hmm. So Hathaway Stitchers. Um, my Instagram is Cozy Town Stitches. Uh, we call my living room cozy town and that's where i stitch a lot so that's where that came from and you are uh mine is boomerang stitches and that just is reference to the fact that cross stitch is just the craft that always keeps coming back to me there you so, go all right that's it good call okay now, now, we're we're jump now we'll jump now in. We'll dive in okay. um amity has more whips than me i think like 2x more than me so i have we'll, 35 we'll probably do like two to one mm -hmm. um but i have 18 and it just started in september <laughs> So if you like do the math, mine are from 2018. It gets I wild. See, okay. so. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Anyway, I'm gonna go first. So this is my first project that I just started maybe last week. Um, it is called Mulberry Trees. It is by Darling and Whimsy Designs. Um, right now, it is a very cryptic message that says, "I'm Mulberry Trees, but I am afraid not alive." 1811. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> 
when it is done, it will say, uh, I will not say that your mulberry trees are dead, but I am afraid they are not alive. It's a letter that Jane Austen wrote to her sister. Um, it is stitched on 14 count, lightly salted, not roasted, uh, Ada by the Stitch Me. And with all the called for floss, fancy floss, overdyed floss. Yep. Um, so yeah, that's me. I took your lead and also started one this morning um, with a cryptic message. There you go. So this year's the year starts for me also. I, I just will briefly mention that I'm starting something every single Saturday and then mixed in on like holidays or anniversary starting stuff. So there's going to be a lot of stuff. But the thing I started this morning was the Darwin Sampler by Hannah Stitching Designs. And that's how far I got. Today hate everything. Today hate everything. Good advice. <laughs> um, I love it so much. It's on a mystery 32 count even weave. It was like an off white and Erin and I did some snow dyeing the other day when it snowed and came out with this piece and I loved it. So that's what I'm using for that. And I think, I don't really know. Oh, I do know stats on this. I'm 9.44% done. Oh, good call. Yeah. I always forget that part. I don't know on that one because Pattern Keeper didn't like my PDF. Yeah. So. And this is housed in... Did you say what you oh, did? Oh my goodness. I just have a project bag made by me. Yep. Oh, very very fancy. fancy. Project bag made by me with all the birds. Yeah. Go. <laughs> cool. Okay. So next, it's me again. Next one that I started last week is by Alforce Embroidery and it's Visiting a Fairy Tale. And that is how far I've gotten. It is on, I should know this. 32 count Cappuccino Lugana by Fiber on a Win. And this is stitched with the Call for DMCs. This is like literally the only Alforce I've ever seen that they don't offer a floss pack for. Oh, no. I thought you just wanted to do DMC. It's no floss no, pack, no, no floss option. Pack. Oh, no. Okay. That's All right. it. DMC or conversion. I could have done a conversion, but yeah. it's easy. I was it's using pretty. it kind of as a travel piece, so DMC was easiest. But so but, that is yeah. that. And that I am 9.11% done on. There you go. And it lives in... Oh, it lives in this amazing bag by Erin. It's got all the critters. Lots of critters. Lots of critters and stripes. And a fun little, like, is it like a cicada wing? I'm not sure. It just said insect wing. Insect wing. Yeah. <laughs> it can be a, it's going to be a cicada wing. Okay. I said yeah. it was. <laughs> uh, okay. My next project is uh, Don't Touch Me. And it is by, well, um, Kenny Kari and D20 Stitches. Um, I saw that subpar stitcher was stitching this on one of her videos and paused the video, opened up a new tab and went and bought the pattern right away because I loved it so much. Um, so it is 20, officially 25% done. I hit 25% on it yesterday. Hold on. I zoned out for a second. Have you said that that's on linen yet? Yep. This is my very <laughs> first, very first yes. linen project. I'm being so brave. <laughs> We're so proud. <laughs> I'm um, growing up so fast. I know. It's, it honestly, it's so slow. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what to do. Like some of those slub things are large, um, but I'm figuring it out. And I don't hate it, which is nice. So um, it is on 28 count linen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it is color is Hot Coral by uh, Steel City Stitchers. Um, oh, and I made the needle minder out of an enamel pin I had that just said that wasn't very cash money of you. So... Oh, and it lives in this project bag by Little Boat 88 with the cutest fabric that had little snail acorns, like little snails with unicorn horns and ram ramacorns, all kinds of cute animals. So um, that was me. Okay, the next one we both have. Oh, yeah. There's an acute snap too. It is. So it's mine. Yeah. Okay. And then a mega acute snap. Oh, the are we going to be able to fit it in? Yeah, yeah we got sure. this. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is Grief Knows No Bounds by the Stitchers for Peace Initiative. Um, where did you start on yours? I started in the top left. Oh, okay. Um, it's, we'll list all the designers in the notes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, but it, it's, it's a beautiful pattern for such an important cause. And it has birds, so you know, Amity's going to love it. Um, I'm doing mine on 16 Count Garden Party by the Stitch Me. I'm doing mine on, double checking, uh, 32 Count Mitt Lugana by Five on a Whim. Um, mostly called for DMC. One of my unofficial like stitching resolutions was uh, to 
not treat all like the silks and the fancy floss and all that stuff as so precious. So if it's Actually worth my use them. yeah, if it's worth my time to stitch it, then it's worth using the nice stuff. So mm -hmm. I'm using one fancy floss of some kind in each of the birds. If we is my plan. Show that raven close, are we gonna see their threads? Because oh, the threads okay. are really good. So the raven is one strand of 310 and one strand of silks for you. Mm -hmm. I think it's 129. Go up. Up. Oh, but it, mm -hmm. oh, thank you. Yep. It looks, it's, it's, I don't know if it'll show up, but it's so yeah. pretty in person. Thank you. It looks like a, a raven looks with like mm -hmm. the purples and the blues and greens and all that. And then the little pigeon feathers are uh, most sale mysticus, I think. So, oh, yeah, that yeah. sounds right. So, sounds um, right. I don't know what percentage I am. There's a lot of border left. Oh, for me. well, because the pat oh, yeah. we had pattern keeper issues with yeah. it, so we don't officially know either. But. Okay, me. Oh, mine is hat. I have to show the bag it's oh. in because I love it. Erin made me this bag. Um, can we appreciate the fact that she quilted that back on to run along the lines of the birds? I didn't want to split them up. Um, that's amazing. They're obviously little bird couples. It's true. Yeah. So, And mine is in a bag by Jasmine Custom Bags with uh, Christmas dinosaurs. So. Okay. My next one is Coffee and Eggs by the Artsy Housewife. And I got a little start. This is one of my weekly starts. So I try to get about a thousand ish stitches each week when I start something. So um, that's what that about is maybe like 1200 or something. And this, I should know, this is one of my favorites. This is 32 count silver fox by Fiber on a Win. Uh, Lugana. <laughs> We're sensing a theme. Everything is like 32 <laughs> count Lugana, Fiber on a Win. Uh, this pattern is originally on a tan, which is gorgeous. But I was doing, I didn't have that. And I was doing a floss toss, and I just really love the way the colors looked on this like blue gray. I like the pink on the blue gray a lot. Yeah, yeah. So this is one that is technically over in my rotation, but I'm I'm still keeping it on here. We're still gonna work it in some. I like it. And this oh I didn't say I've used the call for. Thanks. Um. So this is Christmas Woodland Animals uh, by X Cross Stitch Pattern X. Um, and I, I love the pattern. I love the colors. I'm using the call for DMC. I hate this fabric so much. It's just <laughs> Is that the one where you're like, yes, it's just, it's a 14 it? count black Ada. I think it's the Michael store brand. Was it loops and threads, hoops and threads? Is that my, I don't know. I could make either Artistes one work in my head. Not, huh? loops. It, I think it's, it doesn't matter. It's maybe loops and threads. <laughs> um, but for some reason, and it's just two strands and it's, 14 count, like every, it's like a death grip with the needle, like, like to pull it through every time. Uh, so I know that, when you, you were working on that, when you were stitching one it night, so and it was so loud. So loud. <laughs> it was um, ridiculous. So yeah, I think I'm going to restart it. I, like I said, I really love the pattern. I really love the colors. Um, so yeah, I'm going to restart it. But Maybe not with like metallic or carnate. No. Yeah. Just going to stick to plain old, plain Same. old DMC. Uh, and it lives in, since it is Christmas Woodland Animals, it lives in Jasmine's custom bags with little Christmas woodland animals. So. Very nice. Okay. I feel like this next one, there's a lot to say about it. So <laughs> you mean hold it while you talk about it? Will that help? If you want to. So this is, um, hold it this way. I'm gonna have a lot of pictures to insert That's for this true. one. <laughs> yeah. So I found, we were going through some of my mom's stuff and found some of her like working copies she had made of these birds. And I went on a deep dive to try and find where these came from and did find that they are from a book called, um, I think, Mit Faden und Nadel, which is a German book. It means like with needle and thread. This one I have written down because I was so afraid I was gonna, Jutta Ortmans is the designer, from what I can tell, is the designer. And this is like my unicorn book to find. People have like their unicorn charts that they want to find. Like I need to find this book. I cannot find it anywhere. But it is like 14 bird patterns. My goal for the year was to do one every month. You can see I'm not going to make that goal because it is the 27th of January. Um, because it has some weird stitches in it. So oh. very weird. You are not going to be able to tell. Like even if you hold it okay. close. It's like not a half stitch. It's like on even weave. If you have a little box, it's like half of the box this way. It's not like a triangle. Oh, like straight? It's, it's just like so weird. Top left to bottom left? 
Yeah. Oh. But it's like, I don't know. It's the weirdest stuff. But I did a full floss conversion. Everything was in German. And I could not find what the thread brand was. So one thing is, I'm going to rip out. I'm going to frog this because that got a little stripey. Mm. And we're going to fix that. But I, if anyone knows where I could find the book, I will we'll insert pictures of it uh, that I found online. I will buy it in a second, no matter where it is from. I <laughs> Name love your it. price. I love it so much. But and I'm just calling this um, Bird One because I really don't. I don't know. Yeah. There's like 14. So and it is housed in a bag I made um, forever ago. So okay, am I up again? Yeah. Okay. What is that next? Partridge and pear. Okay. This is. Did I see what that was on? No. That one was on 32 count Lugana Cafe Au Lait. Cafe. Uh, fiber on the web. Okay. This one. Oh, oh yeah. This one. Oh, I forgot what it's on. Oh, it's the one that you got that was white. Oh. Stone. 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 Yep. Okay. This is on 32 count Lugana, uh, Stone Lugana by Fiber on a Limb. And the design is Partridge and Pear by Pigeon Coop Designs. And this is, he's so far released three of these. And they're like the 12 Days of Christmas. So I have the first three. I am hoping, I'm going to assume he's coming out with the others. I would love to stitch them all in one piece. So like four by three or something. So this is technically a finish. For but now. Finish Maybe. for now. Hopefully. Yeah. Finish for now. But I... Um, I'm definitely hoping to add, I'm going to start the other one next month and hopefully in the next few months he comes out with the rest. Nice. So I need to maybe ask him before I put this all in one piece, but, um, <laughs> yeah, it's all the call for DMC. And this went really quick, actually. It's pretty. I like these colors. Housed in another bag I made. There's a second one. It's the next month. Oh yeah. Was it turtle doves? Turtle doves. Yeah. So. All right. Then... The next one I started, I feel like everyone has probably seen as well, right? Yeah. Um, is Saga by Long Dog Samplers. And I have the tiniest little column. It's the very bottom. It's a nice column. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It's the bottom left. Um, it is stitched with a, all of my long, well, not all. Most of my Long Dog Samplers are on 18 count white Ada. And it's, um, I pick like five colors. I feel like that gives me enough variation and things. So this one's going to be like a monochromatic. It's Cosmo Floss. It's like the 477 series, like 7776, anyway. And I, I really want to do more on it, but it, it's big. It's daunting. It's the big, I think the biggest long dog. Oh, really? That she ever oh made. Oh gosh, they're all. So anyway, I have a column so far. I like that color. Thanks. Thanks. It's kind of like a brownie purple. I like it. My turn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I started... Can I hold that for you? Oh, sure. Thank you. I started this just maybe a couple weeks ago. Can um, we show the whole thing to appreciate yes. the fabric? And this fabric, like, you know how people say money burns a hole in your pocket? And then this fabric was, like, burning a hole in my pocket. <laughs> and, like, everything I was looking at, I was like, would this pattern work on that? Um, so I was very excited it's it's a fabric by banana oil i don't think she names them it was just maybe she so. blue uh everything's one of a kind uh banana oil sorry on etsy yes, we um, love her she's so she nice like the nicest so nice ever. she sent like the loveliest notes with yeah. um the things that we bought so uh and the fabric's really nice to stitch on uh mm. the pattern is called borealis fox it is by the primitive hair um i'm using the called for dmc and then it called for one Threadworks. And I was going to buy it, but then happened to have an afterglow workshop uh, that was called Borealis. So the lettering at the top right now, there's a part of an O. I don't know why I didn't finish that O. Uh, that's the O in Borealis. It will say Aurora Borealis at the top. That's the fox's tail. And then this is the start of the Aurora that kind of weaves its way all the way through. Um, but yeah, it was, it was too pretty to not. It's not gorgeous. Yeah. This fabric is amazing. Yeah. I'm glad you found a project for it. Me too. That's amazing. Yes. Yeah. Um, oh, and it lives in the same bag that we had with all the critters. Yes, that you made. I did make. Yes, mm -hmm. bag made by me. Um, next, we have something that we we both started. Another I started. One. Yeah. 
It was one of my, um, I started four projects on New Year's Day. We Same. Had, I couldn't do 12 by 12 because we had plans, but um, the started four projects for four for 24th on New Year's Day. So I'm folding mine up. Did you pick like the world's largest Q snap to I start did. that off? Let me in. <laughs> and then I only did. This, That's what I'm saying. It Let makes me, my like, start look extra sad because the Q-snaps. So not even gonna fit in the frame. There you go. Here we go. <laughs> so you can't <laughs> even tell what these are. Uh, this is Cabin in the Woods by Sarcy Girl Designs. Uh, it is a pretty big pattern. It's like twenty thousand stitches. Yeah. It's more. It's more than I expected it to be. Yeah. But um, it had three skunks, so you couldn't. It had it adorable skunks, and it has a really neat like patchwork chimney or like side of the house is really pretty it's like a well we'll show a picture yeah yeah but yeah it's um, like a quilted kind yes of. yeah i think we both did full conversions mm -hmm. um and then some are the same some are different some she had that i didn't so um yeah pretty small start i started with um the chimney yeah actually and you I started, started with the, the house yeah the house and that's one of the windows that'll yeah. come down uh i think i just hit two percent look out Oh gosh! Yeah, but hold on, time. hold on. I might be. I might have more than that. I'm sure you do. Oh, one point seven four. Hey yo. Mm. Yep. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> We're not competitive at all. No, not at all. <laughs> um, mine lives in this. I made a giant. I made a giant project bag to go with my giant Q snap though. Um, that has bunch of seagulls. Great. Yeah. I don't have that. Oh, do you? No, I don't have a project. Okay. I throw that one out. Um. I don't even know where to put these things. Another January 1st start that we we both started along with our friend Angela. Oh, yeah. Uh, is Small Burbs by Ink Circles. Mm -hmm. But we did it as a secret. A I don't even know what to secret. call it. Completely secret. Yeah. So um, the, the only kind of rules were you had to do a complete conversion. And it's only four colors. So it wasn't a huge. Yeah. Had to do a complete conversion. Um, of course, you had to choose your fabric. And then you could not show anyone mm -hmm. anything about it. So we started on January 1st. The idea was we would all have it finished by March 31st and then do like the big reveal. Uh, but I am, I have no chill when it comes to it. You're at like over 70%, aren't you? 75 now. Yeah. I think I got to over 50. Hey, I think no. I'm right okay. over 50. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, maybe we can reveal that on a video later. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's been... I it's been super fun. I think it's like fun. literally the only thing we know is like we'll be like I have stitched this motif, yes. this motif. I have no idea what's happening on this side mm -hmm. of the pattern. But we, we all started in completely different places. Mm -hmm. um, it's been really I fun. Think Angela's Angela's around sixty percent done too. I'm My bad. goal is to have it done by February twelfth. My goal is end of month. I'm not going to make that. So, but I will have it done yeah. by mid February. I'm so glad. I don't think I could wait until the end of March. If I was done, that would be. Yeah. I'm impatient. So you're very um, impatient. Yeah. So that is small burbs. And then that's all of our 20, that's all of my 2024 whips. Are we getting into 2023? Oh, yeah. yeah, we're in 2023. Good call. Okay. Oh, no, I lied. I have one more that I started on January 1st. Oh, I'm in 2023 at this okay. point. All right. This was or is Dream of a Winter Garden and Modern Folk Embroidery. Hey, do you mind holding that? Oh, this one on, on the camera, on the frame would be great. Well, I can't see. There you go. How's that? <laughs> that's good. Um, this is on 32 count Storm Lugana by Picture This Plus. Not fiber on a whim. What? I'm branching out. Really, really branching getting wild out. over there. Um, this I had ordered the called for Bestitch Me, right? Mm -hmm. Bestitch Me floss. And loved the pinks, but the greens were like very, very, very dark. They were different than the picture. They were still very pretty palette, but I was expecting teals. So I had gone in and picked a conversion that was kind of more like the picture that I had in my head that I had seen online. So it's like pinks are called for, teals are not called for. But I'm loving it. It's, it has a bird. I was saying so, how weird it has a bird. Yeah, it's so cute. It has birds. Love it. We should look and see what percentage of your whips have birds. Oh my gosh, too many. Oh, I have to see what percentage I am. I have 12.11% on this. I love that tree. That's fun. The tree is fun. It's like, can you see it? Yeah. 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 Tree's fun. Okay. Again. Me again. Santa Quill. Santa Quill. Another long dog sampler. This is why I was like, not all of them are on 18 count. Yeah. But this this is specialty one. This is on 32 count Stormy Night Lugana. And so I have just two of the bunnies. I need to put it so you can put a picture of the whole pattern in. There we go. Good. 
And basically it's like a, you know, a raven and a sleigh and then like three bunnies in the night scene. But I'm just doing 3799 is like my go-to for any, any kind of black replacement. Um, and then it has white and I think red for the hat and that's it. So, oh, that's fun. Yeah, yeah, it's really simple and I love it. Did I say it was by Long Dog Sandwich? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. My turn. Your turn. Yeah. Um, so this was my fourth Jan start on January 1st. Um, this is for Inkling by Noctiflora Designs. Um, one of our dogs passed away right at the end of the year. Um, Corbin. Yep, sweet Corbin. Um, so I wanted to stitch this for him. Um, this was part of the Stitchers Against Cancer uh, pack that they sold a few months ago. I don't remember mm -hmm. when. Um, so it'll have some wings at the top and at the bottom and then a border. Uh, but all the words are done, so I will see you in every shadow until I would become one too. And the needle minder is by Mad for Minders. And the fabric is 14 count haunted by Picture This Plus. Uh, and it lives in this bag by Patchwork Crossing. That's very pretty. Yeah. I love that fabric. It's, too. it's very nice. Oh, this, the, mm -hmm. yeah. I love both of you. <laughs> both the fabrics. Yeah. I also love that. Back to you. Back to for what, a I'm going to need you to start more projects. I'm trying to <laughs> Done. start talking. Done. It is another bird. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Songbirds Garden Series 2 Merry and Bright by Cottage Garden Samplings. And it is on, let me see, this is 46 count, Erin. Wow. <laughs> uh, Bergen Linen Raw Natural. This is so slow to stitch on. This is one that I started in the weekend. Like I said earlier, I like to get about a thousand stitches. This has like like 300 and something and I was just like I'm I need a break do you use a magnifier I do not oh my gosh should I I probably should I mean I it just it doesn't even look like it has it's just so I know it's it, to me. Like, it just looks like fabric but it's gonna be it's cute it is adorable it's gonna be a cute little yeah. pattern but, like one over two yep yep all the called for um floss me again yeah Okay, the next one is Nordic Holiday. I believe this one is on a 30, I don't know. I just, I need to memorize this. 32 count antique white Lugana. This is by the Prairie Schooler. And this is actually, we'll put the photo up. There's like nine different patterns. Oh yeah, the blocks. Yep. yep. And I love them all, but I picked my five favorites and I'm gonna do it. Can you hold that mm -hmm. a second? I'm gonna do like one here. One here, and then the same for the other side. Oh, so in like two, a line. So it'll be in like, like a line. line. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's the two called for DMCs. <laughs> and I love that one, actually. It's I do, too. I love the stitch. little music note from the bird. It is. It's a songbird. <laughs> yeah. I love it so much. Okay. And then the next. You can tell we were in Christmas. I was going to say, all we my, definitely hit season. All my starts with yeah. Christmas for December. Uh, the next one is Tangled Tidings by Taryn... Um, tear an emblem. This is the Merry Christmas one. And let's see, can you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, this one is on 32 count antique white Lugana. What do I need to do? Okay, you know? were just dropping it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's good. Because I was looking down, so mm -hmm. I, was, <laughs> I was dropping it down. Uh, this is all the called for. It's a mix of like DMC and different fancy floss, but I love the style of tell an emblem. I have the Halloween when I'm starting, and then I bought. Four more birds. Oh, that's right. Oh, about I, the one at Keepsakes. It keepsakes and then yeah. I ordered the other three online. Because nice. they, they didn't have them at Keepsakes. So, I just love the style. It's kind of, it's different. It's unique. Yeah. I love it so much. Uh, I also hit seasonal stitching at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, this is Quaker Bells by Bygone Stitches. Um, it is on so 18 count vintage country mocha. And I'm using, they had a, it was originally in the gold, something fancy, but then they had a separate conversion for um, over dyes. And I'm using those for the red and the green, but then I swapped out the, the brown for heirloom yeah. gold by uh, Classic Color Ricks. Uh, I'm making good time. I think I'm, I'm over 50% done. It's a paper pattern. It was my first paper pattern. So Ooh. yeah. And I then. I keep to say how much. Percentage. Little, little pine cone needle minder by Mad for Minders. So, 
Right. Are you a seasonal stitcher? Like, will you still work on the holiday stuff now? Or are you going to wait until? Um, I'm probably going to wait. I have my starts for July. I'm going to do Christmas in July. And I have four Christmas starts for July. Got and it. then we'll probably like yeah. get it back up later. Oh, no. I said bygone stitches. I lied. It is from the heart. Needle art by Wendy. Mm -hmm. I just started something by bygone stitches. So I mixed that up. Um, and it lives in this project bag, which was by Quarter Acre Arts that they sell through um, Kingsland Needle Art. And the stitching on this is impeccable. And Look it's at like that. stitching with metallic. Yeah, it's so nice. Well, I mean, it's a uh, it, sewing machine, but still. stitching with metallic. I'm very impressed with people that can stitch that straight. So. Uh, like you? Do I need to yeah. pop out one of these bags? <laughs> it's a Monet. <laughs> All right. My next one is a mesh of two projects, but I've only gotten progress on one side of it. But this one is Grace by the Artsy Housewife. And what I'm doing, I have Peace and I have Grace and I couldn't decide which one to start first. So I said I'm just gonna sh stitch them together and just make one big piece. So this is Grace and then um, Peace will be on this side of the other half of the tree and there's like a house and I love, I love Artsy Housewife. That's the same as the coffee and eggs, mm -hmm. same designer. I just love her so much and she's so sweet. Like I actually, I actually like sent her a message because I was afraid like to show this, yeah. Like, and say I was gonna do them together, and she was like, "No, go on and do it." So, um, this is all the called for. Oh, one thing I will say because there'll be a picture up of the full thing. The pattern looks slightly different than the stitched area, um, color wise. Like in this bird's tail, like this on the picture is like teal, and the pattern had red. So I just trusted her and I went with whatever the pattern said. So it's a little bit different, but I love it. And this is on, looking down again, 32 count Lugana cream and sugar by Fiber on a Whip. Do you know what percent you are? Uh, no, oh, no, I don't because I yep. combine them. Yep. Um, I have no clue. And sure. I, this was one of my starts and then I really wanted to work on it. So now it's my travel piece. I work on it on pickup and drop off. Nice. Love it. Turkey day. Turkey day. No, we're leaving Christmas. Uh -huh. Now we're in November. Thanksgiving. Yep. yep. November. Because I started my Saturday starts in November. Because I wanted to test it to make sure I, worked, right. I didn't yeah. hate it. So, yes. This is turkey day. This is also stitched on 32 count cream and sugar Lugana by Fiber on a Whim. I like that. And that's just stitched with the cold four. I think it was a mix of DMC and Fancy Floss. Another autumn. Autumn, yep, is November. This is Autumn Fractor. This is on 32 count Affogato Lugana by Fiber on a Whim. And I got that far, it's pretty good. Pretty good start. I got, oh, this is a paper pattern. I don't know the percentage. Oh, okay. So. so on my starts, I don't know if I've said this, I try to get motifs done so like if I come back in like three months three years and I'm like I don't want to finish that like I'm just calling this a finish <laughs> like I'll probably frog this leaf I used to get to that bird and then it'll be done but I, there's no way I'm not going to want to finish this I love it I was going to ask if you always start with the bird because I mean, you love birds <laughs> I mean if that's an option yes oh yeah yes I do the bird bird first but there's two birds it's mirrored that's right okay. well not completely mirrored but yes, there's another, but there's bird, another on bird on that side well, I did. This is the, I started in the center and then I was like, oh, I'm going out to that bird. How do I get to the How bird? What's the fastest <laughs> route to get to that bird? Because that's where I'm headed. Um, here's one for me and it's a very, very small start. Um, can you see it anymore? It is, it's by a French designer and the pattern, when it translated, it means winter crown. So there's, it's there's very pretty. It's so, and like I saw it on, I think Instagram and then immediately start like set up an eBay alert for it. Set like wanted to find it um, and got very lucky and got it on eBay. Uh, it's it's a big pattern. It's, like, it'll it's take another up, one that's deceiving. Like yeah, it doesn't it'll look take like this, it should be. Most of this, like a two inch border. Yeah. So it's it's large. Um, but yeah, there's a there's a crown for each season and this is the, the winter crown. So I haven't seen the other seasons. I've only seen that there one. Were, there's one with like the summer one has strawberries. I forget what the other ones are. They're all pretty. This one's the prettiest though. That's why you're doing that. Yeah. Um, next is when well, we started together, the Sal. 
Um, it was the Yule Sal by Witches Garden Crafts. Uh, to Joyful Yule. Yeah, Amity is further along in it than I am. Well, you're you're not gonna. You need to hold yours closer. It oh. looks like mine's like oh, look at how big my, my <laughs> oh, start. don't mind me. Just <laughs> look at how big my start is. Yeah. Um, I I think I did all the call for except for I put some etoile in around the letters. Like there's like an the ecru around the letters. You fancy? Yeah, you know me. I did all the call for except for the yellows. I made gold. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, they were real bright. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was really fun. I was so proud of myself. I kept up really well for the first... I did too. Was that four weeks or Until five weeks? Until this guy got released. And he had... He had so much. He had back stitching, And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just said, I'm going to go for it and not do the back stitching. So he's done. I like, and then there's like a tree left and yeah. a couple of motifs, right? Yeah. Okay. And mine is on um, 32 count Stormy Night Lugana. Oh, that's right. Mine is on... Blue. I don't. It was one I had. It was, was it? Oh, yeah. it was just like a leftover it was piece like, of blue. I'm never gonna stitch on this. Yeah. I, was, I started on something else, and remember it was so light I couldn't see this the white at all the snowflakes, so I restarted on this. Are you gonna finish yours? You had talked about just calling that a finish. I really I like this. Like I think it's mm -hmm. a nice shape, but I really love the tree. The tree is good. Yeah. So I might uh, I will finish mine, but I have a lot of things I want to start. So at some point, how's mm -hmm. that? I wanted to have this done this year, but or this year, this month. Yeah, plenty of time. <laughs> if I don't get this done this year. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's not going to happen. Yeah. But that's okay. Because I've stitched on a million other things that I love. There you go. So. All right. Back to you. Back to me. All right. And some rip records. It's so good. Okay. So this is uh, Forest Houses Raccoons by Al Forest Embroidery. And I have a raccoon doing laundry. I love him so much. He's or so her. good. I love them. So good. Yeah. Uh, this is using the all the called for like Al Forest threads. I've got the thread pack for it. And their threads are so nice. Which I is a good thing since we bought out the whole store. We got a lot of, we have a lot of Al Forest options. I haven't started any of mine yet. You need to because you have yeah. about 400. But I love it so much. And again, if I come back and I, for whatever reason, can't or don't want to finish That's it, true. You I have an adorable raccoon, raccoon doing laundry. Yep. She made the laundry look like it was dirty. But it was reversed. Oh. <laughs> it looks like it's like, oh, let me see. It looks like what's out of the water is clean and what's in the water is dirty. <laughs> yeah. They, the raccoon finished that side. That's right. And flipped That's it over right. to start sense. that side. That makes perfect sense. I can sense. make that make I, sense. I did that on purpose. Yeah. Actually, that was just the floss that did that for me. Oh, okay. So, thank you. Mm -hmm. oh, Shahrazad. Shahrazad. Wait, this one. This has some lovely Amazon bag. Oh, wait. I do have a, another bag for floss in here that I made. Bag Inception. There you go. I have the world's, like, literally tiniest start on this. Can I even see it? Right oh. there. <laughs> we'll, we'll flirt. This is on... 46 count. Um, did I do that wrong? Oh, 46 count Heather Linen by Fiber on a Whim. And I'm doing this uh, one over two. And I am, don't be jealous of my 0.2% I have done on this. <laughs> this is a giant pattern. This is the one that when we were at Keepsakes. Oh, it's have huge, it, like stitched in the yeah. main room. Yeah. They have it hanging up in like the front room you walk in. I, we were actually, had already checked out like for the, like, the third time. <laughs> right. She was like, what's that? And then I was like, I'm going to need to purchase that. Yeah. So, oh, it's by um, Twin Peak Primitives. I forgot to say that. But there'll be a picture up that'll show it. And if you look at the picture, this is on the very left in the middle. <laughs> you are here. This little flower, yeah. which this is also a slow one for me. It's just so tiny. Does Lugana... Does it stop at 32? Like, is there a Lugana, like a higher count Lugana? I don't know. If there was, I would... Oh, there's 36. Oh, there's, thir okay. there's 36. Oh, that's right. To 18. I don't okay. know about... Um, the next one I'm going to do is on 36. Or the next one I'm going to show is on 36. Oh, nice. It's like a segue. I didn't even know. There so, you go. Thank yeah. you. So this is Witch Witch. This might need to... You think it needs a backer behind it? It's linen. Cool. I can get rid of one. I don't know if it does or not. This is on, okay, 26, is that right? 
26 count Mirage Edinburgh Linen. So Edinburgh. Edinburgh. And I, this is a paper pattern, so I don't know how far I am, but it is stitching on three, uh, three seven nine nine. Of course, DMC, yeah. my fave, my favorite. Um, you should have bought a cone of that instead of three ten. In hindsight. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But I love it. It's she's super wide hips. The dress is real wide, <laughs> and I love it so much. She's hippie. She's hippie. She's a little hippie. Uh, oh, um, yeah, mark mine off my next one is uh, The Last Unicorn by Tiny Modernist. Uh, you know, it was a movie that I loved so much when I was a kid. So good. Uh, so started this doing the call for DMC. Uh, it's on Midnight Sparkly Opalescent by Witches Garden Crafts, uh, 14 count uh, Ada. Um, I think I'm maybe like 30, like 35%. The unicorn is the biggest chunk of it. Uh, so yeah, making good time on it. I think I started it maybe mid-November. So, so, question is, are mm -hmm. you gonna rip out the stitches? Cause don't you know. don't, you want I it really, to be more white. I want the unicorn in my memory, and this could be like, I don't know, just little kid memory. Like the unicorn was lighter than that. Like a white? Not like full blown, like blanc, you know, like. Yeah. But like, I, yeah, like more, more white. So, I don't know, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll rewatch the movie and see. It's been a while. That would be good. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I do love the fabric though. The fabric is amazing. Yeah. All right. Oh, this one. Big stuff. <laughs> it's big and you're going to have to put a picture up and like leave it up for a long time because I feel like I have a lot to say, even though there's not a lot stitched on this. But this is the Portuguese Bird Sampler by Barbara Anna Designs. Am I in the frame? Why don't I hold it? Okay. Here you go. Go up. Yes. Go. So as you can see, all I have is the border, which was my goal for the year, was I just wanted to get this border. Um, I saw this originally on Rhubarb Patch Studios' um, YouTube channel, and it was in Floss Tube 65, if anyone wants to go see <laughs> it. But it was another situation, much like Aaron, where I was like, I paused the video, went and bought the pattern, went back and finished the video, because her... Her whip that she has is amazing. She did a color conversion on it and it looks so good. But there, I did so many, you can probably put this down because okay. um, yeah. it's heavy probably after a while, arm workout. Yep. Um, we'll have the, the pattern up to see, but I did a lot of edits. It's actually, the full pattern is a rectangle and it has like a full uppercase alphabet and a bird we can see and then like two horses on each side of the bird, which didn't make sense to me. So I just got rid of those horses. And then there were two birds that were below and I brought those up to replace them. Weird, <laughs> more birds. Brought them up. So all the birds are together and they're so good. And then changed the year out to like 2023. Uh, Cause that's when I started it. And then there's a bird in the middle that has, it has like the flower and I copied it down some. I, oh, I did keep the alphabet at the top. I got rid of it, but I'm going to put our last name. <laughs> I'm going to put all birds. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm going to put, like, my last name and then... So, it, there's a lot happening. And I wish I could show the thing, but the way I manipulated it, it would be showing the pattern, and I can't do that. Got it. So... Oh, we can put the picture up so they can... Yeah. Yeah. Picture will have to be for a long time. Right. Sorry. Oh, this is stitched on um, 32 Count Silvery Moon Lugana by Witchelt. I like that. It's like a very light, like subtle silver gray. I love it. And I know gray. some people have like issues with which old, or Zweigart, which one? I think which old. Which old, but yeah. I love it. I think it's great to stitch on. Um, super easy. I did, oh, I didn't need to mention, I did do a color conversion, not a full one. I'm using about half, half. Okay. Yeah. Inordinate fondness. Yay. Okay. Inordinate fondness by another Hannah Stitching, Hannah Stitching Designs. This one's on 32 count mustard Murano that I think I got at Hobby Lobby like forever ago. And I, I love that color. Oh, so the color of the fabric's great. Yeah. This one, you see how there's two different flosses? <laughs> I need to, here, can you pull yeah, those? Yeah, yeah. I need to, I started with this, which was, I think, a, oh, I can't think of the name of the floss. Norgrove Enterprise floss, which I love, but it wasn't showing the detail. So I switched to a variegated DMC for all of this darker. So I need to frog this out and do it. 
but I love this fabric so much. It's really pretty. Yeah, it is hard because it's like relief, right? Yeah. Stitching yeah. it is hard to see. And you just, it's, you just can't see it. Yeah. Like I want to see it. The, yeah. The floss is gorgeous though. Like I will find a use for it. I think I bought like three skeins of it. <laughs> I will find a use for it. I do love it, but this is a bug Quaker is not the use that it had. <laughs> oh gosh. Time oh my Ruby. <laughs> okay. This is a birthday start from, oh Jesus, is this, are we still in 2000? Yeah, we're still last year. This is my birthday start for last year. And um, it's quite large. This is Ruby the Giant Squid by Emily Peacock Tapestry. And I have the <laughs> world's smallest start on this. It is um, a kit you can buy on her Etsy. Mm -hmm. And I'm probably on her website, I'm not. I'm not sure. I bought it off her Etsy site and it's stitched with yarn. I don't have it written down. Is it like wool, anchor, wool? Oh, like the really thick anchor. Yeah. You told me it was anchor wool when we talked about anchor it. Anchor wool. Yeah. Um, on hold it seven. Ca well, um, there's not much to show. That's true. Let well, me just, we're almost there. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Ding. <laughs> and when it, it's full coverage. It is full coverage. I will show the picture, but here's my dilemma. Um, I don't know how to stitch with this. I don't know how the stitches are supposed to look. They look so chunky. They're bubbly. I don't, I don't know like about tension. I don't know. I don't know. I love it and I will finish it if it takes me 12 years. But it's also not a project I can just pull out and put a few stitches in. This is like I have to commit. Yeah. Like this is like this is what I'm doing for the next three hours. And I just don't have that time normally. Yeah. Is it a paper pattern or PDF? It was paper. Paper. Okay. Yeah, I bought the kit. Yeah. Which is, the everything is great. Yeah. The hang up on it is me. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, uh, mine is next, and this is like a, a restart turned UFO. So something I'm, I don't, I'm not going to finish. Um, it, it started as a gift for a friend who is very into true crime and very much loves, uh, well, it's like a the image of a decaying hand and it's shown in like the different stages of decay. And I, I did not know enough at the time when I got the pattern. Um, and I'll look up the name. It was, it was someone on Etsy and this is the only pattern they have. Um, I, I was like, Oh, I'll do it on, I was doing everything on 14 count Ada. It's like 14 count Ada. And it was going to be like 18 inches square. And I did <laughs> not realize be, it was going to be a commitment to give to someone. <laughs> like, like, yeah, she likes this. it. I didn't know that she wanted a poster-sized version. I don't know if she wants, like, a billboard a of decaying a decaying hand, hand in her yeah. house. Uh, so I started it in this, I mean, see compared to a real thumb. So I, I did the thumb, and I was like, no, that's that's not it. Uh, so then I, we were at, I'm not sure where we were, and I got 22-count Hardinger? Hardinger? Mm -hmm. Is that how you say it? Hardinger? I think. Uh, and restarted it on this. Uh, so size-wise, much more reasonable. Uh, yes, yeah, compared to hand, it's, I, it was going to be, you know, I could frame it in, I think, eight by eight. It was when it was done. Much less. Yes. Of the a, problem, of a design choice. Yeah. The problem is it had, I think, 52 different colors in it. And I, I did it as one over one, so I couldn't do loop starts. And it is so much confetti. That, it is a lot of, like, off-white confetti. Uh, yes, like... Any shade of DMC, it's... light pink, light blue, <laughs> light gray. You the can palette think of. was very pretty. It was a really pretty palette. But yeah. I wouldn't want to stitch it. Um, and I I was like, okay, I'm just going to do like a length of thread a day. Like I'm just going to like, you know, take this in little chunks. And even that was just miserable because it'd be like, okay, well, there's a stitch here and a stitch there and a stitch here. Um, so I have made her something else and, <laughs> and stopped working on this. And I think Did you, get a, you got a picture of that. So yeah, you can put yeah, it in like yeah. a finished prairie yeah. picture of yeah, what yeah. you actually made for. Yeah. Me. So yeah, I. Anyway, she w she would have loved it, and maybe someday I'll, I don't know, get brave or bored or something. I think it's funny that redo it, but it's your cello teacher. Oh, was she gonna watch this? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, I play the cello for fun, not professionally. Uh, and my, yeah, my cello um, teacher. I went to an orchestra concert. <laughs> yes, you did. Mm -hmm. Yes, go to my for concert. Years. Yeah. Um. So yes, that is my decaying hand. And yes, I think that's as far as it's going to go. It stops here. So I think you should still frame that or something. <laughs> that's true. I mean, like, you can kind of tell what it is. Yeah. 
So there's like random stitches all over the place. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're back to you. Back to me. All right. My next one is it's called Quaker ABC. Your chair is very close. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Quaker ABC one two three by Quiltify Designs on Etsy, and this is stitched on a linen. The lady at the shop mm -hmm. I went to convinced me to also do a linen, which I was uncomfortable with for a while. Um, is it because of the slubs? Yes. Because I... That's what throws me off to you. Uh, we... The first thing I ever picked was like the worst... Not for this project, just in general. The first linen I stitched on was horrible. And like it was just the loosest thing. Like my needle was just falling out of it. I, I hated it. So I was like, I hate linen. And the lady at this... It was a shop in Tennessee... She was like, just try this, honey. And I was like, okay. <laughs> All right. So what this one is, um, is a thread sampler. And basically I'm using different, I was in a DMC rep for a very long time. And I was like, I just want to try all the, th all the floss, all the threads. And so I went and online and in stores and just found every color of this like green teal shade I could find of different things and figured I needed about 40 different brands or companies which I think I actually have now oh nice I was yeah. missing some for a while but I think I'm good now the acquisition phase <laughs> is over it's true so it's just a matter of executing it but like I have an Instagram post about no I didn't do a post I did a reel or mm -hmm. a story I was gonna say to refer to that for what is what but so like these two, like this has two colors in here, this has two colors in here, like, and they're all different and nothing's going to be the same. So just calling it a thread sampler. Do you have a favorite so far? Thread brand? I don't know. They've all been good. The silk, the Averisois silk is so slippery. <laughs> like everyone's like, it's so smooth. No, it's like falls out. <laughs> like, I have issues with threads falling out, I guess, but I don't know. I like them all pretty much. What percentage is it? Oh, a PDF? this one is a PDF. Um, I am at 15.85%. And that is including there's an alphabet you'll see at the top. If I, I'm debating whether to do that. Got it. So if I don't do the alphabet, then I'm farther along, which is nice. Okay. The next one. Oh, you yeah. want to hold this one for sure. me? Sure. Okay. This is the last one from 2023. Oh, nice. Um, this is another long dog sampler. It is the pointed fifth. And I do have an Instagram post about this. And how did it get so messy? I don't know. <laughs> Was the other one? Yeah. Sorry about the noise. Okay. Go ahead. So I said earlier that I typically like to use um, up a little bit. There we go. Back a little bit. About five colors. Well, this one has 42. <laughs> <laughs> so I broke my rule a little bit, but I'm almost like, I literally have maybe like eight more rows down here and I'll be at the bottom. So like, Oh gosh. Okay. Yeah. So it's not that much left. Yeah. I think I'm at, um, 55.97%. Nice. So, and this, the, you'll never guess what this color is. 3799. And then I did all Cosmo floss for the colors. The critter, and it's just, critter count on this is... It's, the it's critter count is excellent. But I started with the lightest and working my way down in like a gradient for the different colors that go across. I love it. This is probably one of my favorites. That's very pretty. Thank you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> All right. This, oh, this I should say is a focus. I want to have this done this year. And it will be. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the next one is a pattern I designed. It is one thirteenth of a pattern I designed, or one twelfth, because it's a banner and there's two H's. Oh, they don't duplicate. Oh, okay, never different. mind. Okay. Yeah, ignore me. Yeah. So I wanted to make a happy birthday banner. Oh, I might need. Yeah. You hold. I got the. I was just gonna put a thing behind it, but yeah. it might be okay. <laughs> I don't know. It's on eighteen count Ada, and I was just gonna. I want to have a banner to hang up for all of like birthdays, just like a generic black and white happy birthday banner to go along the fireplace. And it, you'll see, I'll put 
it's long. I have to put the picture like all the way across the top. Maybe it's long. It just oh, obviously okay. says like happy birthday, mm -hmm. but like the design flows, like these lines would flow into the next letter. So they all like cohesively connect into one that okay. I have done. All black and white, you said? Just black, yeah, black. Yeah, black not 3799, three just. No, this is 310. So I will use that. There you cone. go. I will use the cone of doom. Yeah. Yeah. So I have one H done for H and happy. This was another one. I was like, I'll do a letter a month. It'll be done no time. No. Nope. Best laid plans. Yep. Uh, next for me is the Emotional Support Possum uh, by Calming Hobbies. Uh, it is actually going to be a gift for Amity. Since yes. <laughs> I love it. And it, it just says Emotional Support Possum at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so I love um, it so working much. my way into the possum's uh, head and face area. Uh, it is uh, called for DMC and it is on a, a digitally printed 14 count Ada by the Digistitchery, which is very nice to stitch on. So You weren't expecting this to be as as full coverage, quote unquote. Oh yeah, as that, it was. that possum is not not is a lot of stitches. There's a lot. Because <laughs> it's like the full possum is full coverage, you know. But he's so cute. He is cute. Uh, mm -hmm. but yeah, I think I'm like fifteen percent. Still have it done my birthday at least oh yeah one birth i don't know maybe this birthday yeah no pressure yeah um so yeah that is my emotional love support possum love it so much okay you do. all right this next one is a stitch that i'm doing for my husband he found a woodcut design that a lady had done and i'm gonna read it because i don't <laughs> dahlia sapon shevin and she did this woodcut in uh, 1999 um, we'll throw a picture up here, but it says like, uh, your heart is a muscle the size of your fist. Like keep fighting, keep love. I don't know. We'll, we'll put a picture. Yeah. I can't hundred percent remember, but this is stitched on 36 count. I believe even weave an antique white. I'm doing one over two. This is one of the few that I've done one over two on. Oh, I've done a couple. Yeah, you've done yeah. a couple. This was the first, I think that I had done Got it. one over two on. That's why it was a big deal in my head. But this is a pattern that I charted off of her artwork and I have reached out to her because I did want to get permission to show it and I have not heard back. So if I hear back and she's like, no, absolutely not. Don't show that. Like you will never see this again. We'll edit the video. We'll edit the video. You will never yeah. see it again um, because I do want to respect like the artist. I'm, I'm not selling this or anything, but I, I still like to get permission from people. But. So this is like, oh my gosh, like I'm nowhere near done. It's on the world's biggest piece. <laughs> it's, a, I would, it's folded and folded. And folded. But it's not that big. Like, I don't know why I didn't trim my fabric. Probably because I was nervous. Yeah. Um, oh, wait, I'm, oh no, that was a different thing. I was going to say I'm 12.95%, <laughs> but that was the banner. That there was, you go. Yeah, it was not that. So, all right. Next one is another one I charted, and this is of um, my first house, which we just moved out of last year. It was our first house that my husband and I bought, and um, I'm pretty proud of these bricks. It is the actual oh, count of bricks in our house. <laughs> like the actual height mm -hmm. is the exact amount of bricks. Um, I'm going to get it close because I don't know if you can tell, but like I've done the back stitching of the bricks for like that. I messed up this window and have to frog out some stuff, but I don't know. I wanted to have like picture. It, I probably won't put a picture up or should I? It's the chart. I'll have oh, the chart. it's just the chart. But it's not yeah, mine. You, you did it. If you yeah. can picture like the world's most boring bi-level house, like that's what this looks like. <laughs> One standard bi-level, yes. please. Yes. Like that's what it looks like. You can use your imagination. Like there's a garage right here. And like, you know, yeah. it just looks like it. But I was going to put our like house coordinates along the bottom. Oh, that'd be fun. Just as something. Yeah. My son liked it because this was his room window. Oh, you start yeah. nice. You started yeah. with his room. Yes. Yeah. So he appreciated that. Oh gosh. Let me scoot back. I'll hold this one for you. <sighs> okay. Yeah. This is another one that probably every single person in the world has seen is probably tired of seeing. But it's Pandemic by Long but Dog Sample. Everyone has different colors and fabrics. This is true. And, yeah. This is true. Pandemic by Long Dog Sample. Oh, they're pretty good. Yeah. Hold oh, yeah. it up a little bit. Here we go. Yeah. Um, another one down on 18 count white Ada. And I picked five colors. 
This one I am kind of doing, I say for my daughter, but kind of like in honor of her. I don't think this is going to be one she's like, oh, I love this, <laughs> you know, but um, I picked colors for her for this one. And then I did Death by Cross Stitch a few years ago, and that was more for my son. And I had a little block with like his birthday and um, initials and stuff on it, and she'll have hers on this one. But I did this because she was born right before, like right in the midst of pandemic, like yeah. literally a week before like hospital shut down. She was a pandemic baby. Yeah, so this is appropriate for her. Yeah. And it has so many birds throughout it. Definitely talk about this one forever, this quilt forever. Um, <laughs> to hold. Is it is it fun to hold? <laughs> I can just start making stuff up yeah. about it. Yeah. Um, the back of this is impeccable. I can I show it. I'm gonna show you. Okay. All right. She's, I mean, a, she's gonna be modest about it, but it's look at not, this. It's not. <laughs> it looks so good. Well, thank you, but um, yeah. We can agree to disagree. I'm impressed. You can see how dirty the fabric is on the back. That's gross. Is it five colors also? Yeah. Yeah, this is five, five colors. Yeah. I'll do a close-up. I'll do how pretty it is. Do you plan it all out in advance or are you just kind of winging it as you go? Oh, I 100% have to plan it. I can't okay. wing that stuff. You're a planner? I am a planner. I get too stressed to do things on the fly. I have yeah. to plan it out. What percentage? Or do you know what percentage you are? Oh, I do know what percentage I am for that one. I am... That is from 2020. We're all the way back in 20. Oh, obviously. Pandemic. Yeah. 53.10%. Um, so that was going to be a finish after the pointed fifth. That was going to be my focus. Nice. Um, all right. This is Dancing Skeleton Witches uh, by Raven Stitchcraft. Um, it was one of the, well, it was the second pattern I started after I like got back into cross stitching a few months ago. Uh, the problem is I, oh, does it? I don't know. I'm asking you. I don't know. Um, it might be okay. It might, yeah, I think it's okay. It's pretty dark. The, uh, it is, I didn't, I did not leave myself much room the way I cut it. I did my math wrong. So I think I have one inch border around the whole thing. Uh, I'm going to like, just take one thread and run it all the way up just to see how close it gets to the top. You can um, sew fabric on. That's true. Just so if it's in oh, a so Q it's snap. Oh, so snap yeah. That's a good also, idea. can we discuss the fact that you've not surged the edge of that? I know. I need to surge this and this one, too. So. <laughs> snob. Surge <laughs> snob. Uh, <laughs> uh, it is on Carmilla Opalescent, 14-count uh, Ada by Witches Garden Crafts with, uh, I forget which number it is, but it was just the called 4 DMC. Is the it's camera just picking up the sparkle? The sparkle's oh, so good. It's so sparkly, sparkles. yeah. Uh, I don't know yeah, a little bit. A little yeah. bit. Okay. It's really good. I'll do this. I'll wiggle it around a little Just bit. Just dance with so, that yeah. for a little bit. It is a dancing skeleton witch. There you go. Okay. Uh, all right. We're making good time. We have, you have six more and I have two more. Yep. So, I am in my 2018 phase nice. here now. Yeah. Going to be seeing a lot of Ada now. <laughs> this is like all Ada. All of your alley. Yep. All right. This one is succulent, I believe. It's just called succulent. It is by... Solvum Probler on Etsy. That's right. It's okay. a reverse. It's like Poe Buddy's Nerf. Oh, yes. Yeah. Instead of Problem Solver, it's Solvum Probler. Yeah. Um, and I am 17.2% done. And this is 18 count Ada that I just like did a basic rip dye on. So it's kind of like a purpley gray. And this is like a full coverage. Like it's not like edge to edge, but like the flower yeah. itself is full coverage. And I get him doing two or one called for DMCs. So many purples. It's like it's like they went and just picked every <laughs> pink and purple they had, and like it's like your it. daughter picked it out. It's true. And every pink it's and true. purple. Maybe this will live in her space. There you go. Talk about the back. <laughs> We're not going to talk about the back of these. We don't need to show the back of that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, that's pretty bad. That was pre loop start. So, and then oh, oh sorry, full nice coverage next time. time. This is the last one I have in a few snap. This is my one and only true full coverage. And this is Starry Night. This is a pattern. I know so many, you can get so many different ones on Etsy. I don't believe that this is, yeah, I have written down it's no longer available by Stitched Lizard. But it is on 16 count Country French Ada. And I am 17.28%. And I started in the upper left hand corner. And I think this is like 
past the page break. Like I think a page was like something about that. So it's a little bit past one page maybe. I know like whenever people talk about full coverage, there's like so many different methods. Like the approach, are you using one? My method is chaos. <laughs> no, I don't have, um, I don't do like, there's like typewriter method. There's the diagonal. There's, yeah, like I rows and yeah. I don't know if it's a method or not, but I just like, we'll start a color and then like stitch it wherever I see it. Like I don't. I think it's like cross country. I don't do cross country. Well, oh, cross country. I, thought, country, I thought when you were like pulling things way over. Like uh, I don't like to you do just it. go like reasonable distance. I don't like to do it more than like four or five stitches. Short over. road trip <laughs> instead of cross country. <laughs> Okay, I like to do um, the short road trip style. Mm -hmm. We just coined that. Mm -hmm. That's... TM? Yes. <laughs> um, Patent pending. That's right. So yeah, no, this this back is insane. Is it a focus for you at all? Or are you just like every once in a while? No, no. All of my, I want to touch all my projects at least once this year, or like every year, um, but that's not a focus. That's a, that was starting my birthday in 2018. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, yeah. I'd like to start giant projects on my birthday apparently, that I'm, yeah. apparently I'm never going to finish. Yeah. Okay. This one is Love From Above. This is a uh, Charlie Harper design. Uh, Harper and Stitches, I think, is the... Uh, Etsy? Like design. Oh, yeah. like you design. Yeah. I think, well, maybe you can get the pattern now. I lucked out and found a copy, a paper copy on eBay a long time ago. Well, in 2018. <laughs> um, so it might be available now. I'm not sure. But this is stitched on 14 count Ada, and it's all the call for DMC. Maybe I made that up. I might have switched out a couple colors. I think I did switch out a couple colors. It's been so long. But are there official Charlie? Har is it cross stitch officially? I know there's a lot of Charlie Har Harper needle point it's patterns. The Harper and stitches is their, is cross, their stitch. cross stitch. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. they still make needle points, I believe. I uh, see. I saw it at that needle workshop I went to. Oh yeah. The snooty one. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't think, like, you can get new. Got it. Okay. New Charlie Harper. Yeah. Yes. All right. Um, we are on to me. So this is called Enchanted Forest. It was a free pattern on DMC's website. Mm -hmm. And I, I thought it was really pretty. It's just like a patch of trees. It's, it's a circle. And uh, the bottom is, like, very snowy. Uh, what I did not realize going in is that one of the trees and a large portion of that bottom circle are done in metallics. That's another one that was very loud when you were stitching. Yes. It's like <laughs> every stitch. Like, turn the TV up and it was still here and stitching. Yep. Uh, so honestly, like I think it's really pretty. And for a second, I was like, oh, I'll make this my snow day stitch. Mm -hmm. But then if I'm working on like some wintry snow day, I'd rather work on the winter crown. Yeah, so this might one. end up a UFO. Plus, like I said, this, and I could just swap it out, I know. Like this tree's all metallics and then like this whole bottom circle part is supposed to be just metallic. Is it something you would start over minus the, like on different fabric minus the metallics? Or you just, I would just, like I would done? swap out. If I, if I wanted to finish it, I would swap out and just not do metallics for that big bottom part. Um, the stitches don't look great in the metallic. Like they're, it's not you though. I don't think anyone has good stitches that. That's fair. That look. Yeah. So I don't. It might just be a UFO. It was like, oh man, this is pretty and f free, and I didn't know any better, and now I have a lot of patterns that I would rather work on. Yeah. With limited yeah, stitching time. I would definitely. Yeah. So, I think it'll be a UFO. Can you just surge this one too? Do we need to surge after this video? Wait, we'll surge. We'll have okay. a surge party. Okay. It bothers you, I can tell. This look at this. Well, Bad I mean, news. I saw I saw. <laughs> saw yeah. Okay. Alright, your last your last little group, your last, last three. Last three. Okay. This one, um, it's another Charlie Harper design. It is on 14 count oatmeal Ada. But this is before I kind of knew about copyright. <laughs> oh no. Well no, it's not. It's not bad. Like, I don't plan on selling this, but this is definitely, uh, was a needlework chart that I charted for cross-stitch. So I don't know the legality of that. Yeah. But um, it's... It's such a cute pattern. It's though. my favorite. It's called Baffling Belly. Charlie Harper's my favorite artist. So. Yeah. Uh, I, I love it so much. My problem is, here's what I did. So I went through and did the entire pattern 
with going like one way. Mm -hmm. And so now I have to go back the other way on all my stitches. Oh wait, this is just like half stitches? Like, yeah. So oh, like- It I'm, looks cool though. I'm going in and like, see what you can tell the difference in like yeah, the wax. Yeah, like, the wax especially. It looks like, like ombre, like- Like that's done yeah. and that's just one. So why 2018 me decided like, this is gonna, this is the best solution for that. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna go back to that and restitch the whole pattern again. That sounds great. We may and listen, as we'll find out with my last whip, we make weird choices <laughs> when you're starting. So true. Yeah. So this is one, it's stitched with three strands and I have to go back and restitch the whole thing. And I don't know, I love it. But part of me is like, do I just want to start it over? But oh. then like- Oh, and like we've gone on like something like you something like. Something I and... like, it wouldn't take long or it would take long. <laughs> but like, it'd be an easy stitch. It just blocks yeah. the color. But I love it so much. It'd be good for a retreat. When people say to no, bring something that's because just it's still like, in. No, if you restart oh, it. Oh, if I restart it. Yeah. That would be good. Yeah. But then I would feel bad like, if like, anyone wanted to know the pattern. And then I'm uh, like, actually, yeah. I like don't know about it. So yeah, I would feel bad. That's so fair. I probably yeah. wouldn't do that. But. but would be good retreat stitching. Yes. Which, side note, we're going to Stitch Con. Yes, weekend day. It's, yep. It'll be our first retreat. Yeah. True. I'm excited. Me too. And nervous. Folks, I'm just excited. I might be a little socially awkward. <laughs> <laughs> So come sit with us. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like introvert, extrovert. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm very excited though. That's um, true. I've seen a lot of fun people that are going to be there that weekend. Yeah. And I'm sure there'll be tons more that we meet there. Yeah. So. All right. This is uh, based off of some free patterns by Brooks Books, and it's like the Advent Animals, and she has twenty. Like it's a countdown, so she has 24 different animals. Do you make it closer? So I'm like you... covering up your face. Like, You're I'm fine. Like... I'm gonna throw the picture up anyway. Okay, do you have room to throw it up even here? I'll move it over here there and you go. can put it, in, put the it in the top corner, yeah. Um, but they're like 24 individual animals and all I did was I picked my favorite and then... I have a favorite I can tell from here. The horse? Yeah. With the ugly sweater con the trophy, it says ugly sweater, <laughs> ugly sweater. <laughs> no, that. Yeah. Now it's even more my favorite. Uh, and this is stitched on, I believe, I don't even know if I know this. It looks like chalkboard. I dyed it. It was just a red dye. Oh, nice. And I think it's, um, I think it's on 18 or 16 count. I have written down 18. Whether that's right, I don't know. But, so I just picked some and then it sprinkled in, like, it'll say Merry Christmas. I have three more animals. I have a uh, squirrel, squirrel, polar bear, mm -hmm. no, square, squirrel. Something else, polar bear. Okay. No, polar bear's already done. I was gonna say, what's that? That's a polar bear. Okay. Elephant, elephant, squirrel, sheep. That's what's left. <laughs> elephant, squirrel, and like sheep. You're speaking in code. Yes. And I realized I missed the S by that pig. I don't know why I skipped that one, but I'll go back and do that. <laughs> yeah. So this is, like I said, a free pattern. Um, the patterns are so good for like free Those patterns. Are really they're cute. so yeah. good. And they're, I really like that raccoon. The raccoon with the cookie jar. Mm hmm. Yeah. And some of those I had to like mirror to get them to like work Got right it. in the design, yeah. but last, last one, last whip, last one. This was the, not the first thing I started, obviously, cause this is, it's like remnant threads, but I didn't know when I started it. So I just put it down. Um, in hindsight, I should have moved it, but this is on 14 count white Ada. And it's just a design where I take all of my old threads. It's, they're not orts. They're like longer pieces that can still be used. And I'm just I'm doing a little patchwork. So it's got the like iconic love kind of sculpture in the middle and I'll stitch all the way around. So I need to, I need to stitch a lot. So do you save up the threads? I do. I have, then, I have yeah. bags and bags of like old threads. So this is really good for travel because it's, there's no pattern. I just, That's true. No rules. just fill in yeah. whatever I want. So that's that's so fun. So this isn't, like I said, my first project I did because it's obviously leftovers, but I didn't know where to put it, so. Fun. Oh, but you yeah. have one more. I do. So I, I've i been thinking a lot, trying to figure out like why I approached this the way I did because here's what, here's what I've come up with. So when Amity was pregnant with her daughter, um, I wanted to make something to hang up in the nursery. And I was like, I, and you you were like, 
really into cross stitch at the time. Yeah. So I was like, I'm going to make her a cross stitch as a surprise. So I knew what the nursery colors were. Oh, it's a surprise. It, yeah. <laughs> surprise for me too. Um, I knew what the nursery colors were going to be. And I, I had this amazing resource who was so good at cross stitching, but I couldn't ask about because it was supposed to be a surprise. So it is a pattern called mountains. And it was just like a couple of mountains. It was like a really simple design. And it has been in this. Why didn't you take it out of the hoop? I'll show you why in a second. It has been in this hoop for since 2019. And I was doing, it I looks like, didn't... hold on, hold it. Okay. I was you just going to tell I just what it is. People see the detail. Yeah. I mean, it's a really, it's a really fun pattern. And I'll look up. I it is a good who pattern. the pattern is it from. It's a fun pattern. Uh, it was from Etsy. And I was trying to do, I did not know about, did I not know about loose starch or was it three over one? It's three over one. So couldn't do a loop start. I didn't know they were a thing either. Um, and I had read that you can do, you, you know, like hold the, the tail and then yeah. you start stitching. Yeah. But I kept pulling the tail out. Like I was doing it so wrong. So, so what, was time, your, what was your solution? I was like, that? ding, light bulb. <laughs> I was like, I'll just tape them down. So I'll start it and then I'll tape it. And I, I don't know if I thought I would go back and untape them, but instead what happened is I got this like giant mass of tape here. So I can't iron it because it'll melt. <laughs> can't. Will it even come out of the hoop? Oh yeah, is it'll it come out of the hoop. Oh. No, 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 it'll come out of the hoop. It's, that's, that's not the problem here. Um, um, so yes, this is my dishonorable mention, my very last whip that will be UFO'd. Um, it has a very nice, it's so, the thought. Many, it's many definitely yeah, the see? thought that counts. It's yes, very sweet there you of you. go. Uh, plus, but you can keep it. <laughs> now that now that uh, my niece is almost four, mm -hmm. I know that this just wouldn't be her style anyway. That's right. So it's not edgy enough for her. I'll make something else for her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's our PSA. Don't tape your backs. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone was considering anyone, maybe anyone, taping their backs, I don't think anyone was. Don't do it. No. Yeah. Um, so anyway, that is all of our whips. Whew, I see what people talk about now. That's a lot. That's a lot. We have piles of this is a mess. things, and I'm guessing, I feel like there's loose needles everywhere. Probably. Uh, I had a lot of needles on mine. Um, but no, I, I thank you everyone so much, anyone who watches this. Anyone who made it through the end of that. We appreciate it so much. Uh, thank you to anyone who put out whip parades and floss tube videos. They're, we love watching them. They're so much fun yeah. uh, and really inspired us to do this. So. Excellent. Um, I'll post our Instagrams again if you want to give us a follow. Mm -hmm. uh, we have both committed to being better about posting progress yeah. photos, not just the I'm, finish. I'm every good at posting once finishes. I'm not good at posting progress. So yeah, whether it's like a story or something, I'll try and post progress and fix. Um, so yeah, we will post more, and um, hopefully we'll do another video here in the next yeah. maybe three or four weeks. Yeah. So yes, thank you so much again. Yep. Yeah, thank and you. And have a great day. Bye. Bye. I lost my remote. There it is. Boop. 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 Not, not stopping. Boop. Hi. Floss too. Still here. Just gonna stitch. Okay. Are you gonna make me stand up and I'll do it. We we got the cheap chairs that the don't have wheels. Don't. It's so terrible. <laughs> okay. No. Oh my gosh.